What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are so excited to have you guys as always. If this is your first video you're seeing of us, I'm Olivia. And I'm Robbie. And welcome to our channel. We're so pumped to have you guys. And for all of you who are back, welcome back. Today we have a good video for you guys. First, I want to remind you that we have a P.O. box. Oh yeah. Guys. I keep forgetting about it, but it's really exciting. We're really excited to be able to interact with you guys in a completely different way. Here's the address for the PO box. Also, it'll be in the description as well. If you guys want to write that down, save it, whatever you want to do. Mail us a letter or something. That'd be so cool. <laughs> that would be cool. We love letters. Also, really exciting. We're almost to 4,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Yeah, I can't I'm believe that. I'm so excited. So thank you guys all so much. Like, this is just so cool. And we're so happy to have you as a part of this journey. Real quick, make sure you guys like this video right now subscribe to our channel if you're not already we would love you to join the fam and also make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. We also just made a joint Instagram for both of us, which is really exciting. So go follow us on there. If you're a real one, make sure you're following us on all of those. We love you guys so much. Today's video, we just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on how my recovery has been going. It's been a little crazy and I know we've been a little MIA and we'll explain why. We just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's been going on in our lives. We've had a lot of people reach out and ask us how we're doing, specifically Olivia. You know, <laughs> yeah, we've had a ton of questions, so we figured we could just make a video and let you guys know kind of what our life has been like and what we've been dealing with. So, yeah, let's get right to it then, right? Yeah, stop that. Yeah, I am chatting to the noise, and stop for the talking. I am chatting with the boys, my eyes keep walking. Yeah, just too sharp with the prize. Let's go tell me I'm awesome. Yeah, hot like fire on the pine. If you want to touch my please use caution. So as you guys can see, we're home from California. It was a really, really fun time. I think it was much needed. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't feeling great no. when we were in California, but it was still, I think, a good thing for me to just get away and get away from our house, get away from where all this happened and just spend a week on the beach just sitting on a chair. I couldn't really do much, but it was really, really nice to get away. It's nice to be home though. I feel like it's always nice yeah. to be home after you're gone for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, California was a lot of fun. We got to spend time with family. And I think that was really important for Olivia too, to just kind of be with people that love her and support her the most. The surgery was obviously a lot harder than we expected. Recovery has been a lot harder than I expected on both of us. I think I'm almost six weeks after the surgery, which is crazy. That's wild. After I got home from the hospital, there was a lot of stuff that I was experiencing that I wasn't really prepared for, that was just really, really hard. For example, I got home from the hospital, I immediately just could not sleep. Yeah. at all. I didn't sleep for a few weeks. I would just be up all night just because I was in so much pain. The pain was like all in my kidney. Obviously my incision was hurting because I had staples in there. It was just really really uncomfortable and something super weird that I experienced was it was like my organs felt uncomfortable. Like yeah. I was never comfortable what I, whether I was sitting, standing, laying because my organs just, my body could tell that someone was in there messing around and my organs like, that's the only way to describe it is they just did not feel right. And it was just the most uncomfortable feeling. So that just kept me up all night because no matter what position I was in, my organs just felt all disorganized and it was just the weirdest feeling and really uncomfortable. Yeah. Also, they removed a rib. So I was very uncomfortable from that. I couldn't really like, move or do anything every time I breathed it hurt really really bad every time I would laugh it hurt really bad which, which was... is hard because she's married to like the most hilarious person in the world yes so. oh my gosh it was so hard <laughs> okay no but it that actually was really hard on me because I love laughing and I feel like it was just kind of made me depressed to just like not laugh for weeks you yeah. know I feel like you don't really realize how much laughing makes you happy and so to just not really laugh for weeks was really hard. Also, I was on a ton of medications that were really, really strong and a lot of those side effects were really, really hard on me, put me in like dark places that I've never really been before. 
so that was weird to experience and I was just really out of it like I don't really remember a lot of the past few weeks like what has happened just because I was so medicated and I don't really remember a lot of what happened and I definitely was not myself I don't know if you noticed that yeah I mean it was really hard to watch because I could just see Olivia acting differently and like saying weird things and acting I don't know just you could tell it wasn't Olivia you know and so it was hard because I didn't really know how to help but a lot of it I think was the medicine that she was on and she was just so drugged up from it all that she yeah. didn't even know where she was what she was doing and it was affecting her emotions and stuff so much a lot of the medication just I don't know almost made me super depressed and just really not feeling like myself and kind of like I mentioned I went to some really really dark places which I've never really experienced before so it was just super weird and just really really hard on both of us I think just me not feeling like myself at all and also Robbie seeing me struggle so much and yeah you tough. could tell yeah yeah, it was just weird. So that was just really hard and obviously we didn't really want to film when I was feeling so down. I'm like, I'm trying not to cry, but it was it was okay. really, really hard. Um, feeling so low and like probably some of the lowest points of my life. And so that's kind of why we weren't filming is just we like to be positive and we like to show you guys that side of ourselves. And it was just a really, really low point for me especially and so... We just obviously didn't want to film that and I want to talk about it because I want to be open with you guys but it, it was really really hard. Yeah and I think it's important that you guys know that you know like yeah we do try to show you how positive we are and how much positivity we try to spread with you guys and throughout the community that we have and, and all these different things but we're normal and we're human and normally obviously Olivia doesn't act like that but everybody experiences those types of things one way or another whether it's through medicine or whether it's just through your everyday life you know and we just want you to know that like we go through that too. Yeah we just want to be real and honest with you guys and not all like oh our life's always amazing. We go through hard things too. Life and... is hard. <laughs> yeah. Taking care of your health mentally is very important you know and, and you guys were so supportive in that you know when we would say hey sorry like we're not posting this week or whatever or I mean you guys were always there and you're like no take care of yourselves don't post until you're ready and yeah. that meant a lot to us kind of going off that there were some things that happened to me in the hospital that caused a lot of trauma for me and so emotionally this has been really really hard to recover from so I have been seeing a therapist and just trying to take care of my mental health and this is the first time I've ever done that but it's been really really helpful and we kind of realized immediately when I got home from the hospital like we need professional help with this because, you know, there was a lot of things that happened that I just needed help healing from. And I think that it's nothing to be ashamed of. I think that taking care of your mental health is really, really important. I'm still not healed fully, but I think if I hadn't try to take those steps as well as trying to heal physically, I wouldn't be where I am right now. So I think it's been really, really important that I've been trying to heal physically as well as emotionally. And I'm treating those both with the same priority. While I was trying to recover and heal, honestly, from when I got home from the hospital, I was kind of like this, and then I started just declining. It honestly felt like I was dying. There was a few times where I was like, I'm on death's doorstep, and I don't know what to do. So it was really, really hard to just feel like I'm not getting better at all and so I went a few weeks just declining declining and kind of during this time I had nurses coming to our house to visit us three times a week I had my physical therapist coming I was going to a chiropractor I was just trying to do everything to try to see improvements and for a few weeks none of it was helping so I just kept getting worse and worse and then finally I would say like this past week I've finally started to see improvements and get better but that's another reason we weren't filming is just because we weren't really sure what was happening and if I was even getting better so we were just putting all of our energy into trying to help me feel good and Robbie was so huge in that <laughs> He woke up every single day, you gave me my medicine, you brought me out on the couch, you did everything, like made me food if I wanted to eat. He did everything for me and I wouldn't even be here without him. I'm definitely certain of that. So Robbie seriously has been so amazing. I don't know, it's hard not to feel guilty. I said this a few times to him, I'm, I was like, you didn't sign up for this, you know? Like I just feel really bad because you were just had to dedicate your whole life to taking care of me, which was so, so sweet, but. And I said, marriage isn't a contract with like a list of duties. I mean, it's just what you sign up for is to love somebody unconditionally. And as hard as it was and as hard as it has been, I feel grateful that I've had the opportunity to be here for Olivia and do all 
all of those things, you know, because I love her so much. And it, it was scary for a while because like she said, it was just like a downward decline, like a downward trend. And we couldn't really see where it was going. As somebody from the outside, not experiencing it, it was kind of hard because I felt helpless. You know, I was just doing what I could, like, oh, I'll make you food. Oh, I'll give you your medicine. Oh, I'll give you a hug. Like, I don't know, it, but ultimately there was nothing else that I could really do. And it just feels good to finally see her taking an upward <laughs> trend and going in the, the other direction. One thing I think that I've really learned from this experience that we've been going through, and, and I was talking to Olivia about this, serving others is how you truly learn to love somebody. It's crazy because obviously I loved Olivia before, but the opportunity that I had to continually just serve her every day by helping her do little things or making her food or carrying her here or there or lifting her out of bed or just the smallest little things, you know, it's helped me just learn to love her even more and taken my love for her from somewhere here all the way up to somewhere, you know, I, I can't even put it really into words. And so it was just kind of a, oh, you can't do that to me. Uh, I love you. I love you too, you know, but it's been a wild ride, but in one way I am grateful for it because it's allowed me to experience a deeper love for my wife. And I, I couldn't really ask for more than that, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Like, it's really cool to hear just because, like I said, I part of me kind of felt guilty and it was just hard because as hard of a time it was for me, like, it was really, really hard for him too. And I feel like no one really realized how hard it was on him, you know? Like, everyone was really concerned about me, which was awesome and really, really sweet, but I just could see how Robbie wasn't himself either because I, it was just hard. I'm really, really glad that I'm, like, doing better, but also Robbie is too and, like, it's just yeah. hard not to feel guilty, but then when you say something like that, I just... <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I love you. No guilt. I mean, that's what marriage is about. Yeah, kind of back to where we were. Sorry. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> you can't do that to me. You um, can't do that to me. <laughs> it's crazy, like, how much this has brought us together. Obviously, we loved each other before, but just, like, when you go through something hard with someone, it just like really deep inside and just seeing how like selfless you are and just willing to take care of me was awesome. Like I said, I would not be here if it weren't for Robbie's. Thank you. I love you. I love you. But now <laughs> she is now. starting to feel much better. Yes, we don't want to focus on all that. We just wanted to tell you guys like it was really, really rough. But yeah, we are past that. I am not on death's doorstep anymore. <laughs> I am feeling more like myself finally i would say like the past few days yeah i've started to feel a lot like myself my body is much much different and in a very different place than it was before it's weird because i'm like oh i'm starting to feel like myself but my body is very behind i can't really bend down i can't like if i try to squat joints. my knee joints are like <laughs> screaming at me it's like kind of like I'm a really old person like I can't really move very well but that'll come back in time and I just have to be gracious with myself and impatient impatient it's actually funny I lost almost 20 pounds in the hospital probably like 18 and all of it was muscle <laughs> so I I'm like my butt's gone like my all my muscles gone just doing things I can tell like I've lost a lot of muscle and just everyday things I'm like ah, I can't do it but she's making progress I'm, yeah I'm making progress I'm trying to like eat more and hopefully try to get more healthy and doing little exercises here and there just working on her strength and her stamina it'll I'll be back to normal in no time hopefully a few weeks it's just cool to start to feel like myself again <laughs> moving forward yesterday and the day before I just got two different scans we just started gonna wait on the results for that and we have an appointment with my doctor to get the results of the scans and then pretty much just kind of see how the surgery went and how she's recovering and if it's going in the right direction because right now we don't really know and those scans will help us figure that out and we won't really fully know if the surgery worked or not for a few weeks so I have like a stent in my kidney and I think in a few weeks we're gonna take that out and then it's kind of just a waiting game to see how I feel and see if I go down or if I am fine so prayers that it all worked it's crazy to just yeah. be like yeah we don't know yet but we honestly have no idea if the surgery worked or not until we take everything out and just kind of wait and mm -hmm. see let the body do what it's supposed to do so we're really really hopeful and really positive and I'm sure everything's all good that's kind of where we're at right now so yeah. we just follow up appointments and scans and 
just kind of, like she said, hoping and praying that things are as they should and we'll just keep doing what we do. Something also that we've been thinking and talking about a lot lately is just how grateful we are for our support system. Like I would not be where I am without Ravi. I've already said that a million times, but also just without our families and everybody who just came together and just helped us out. I can't even explain how much it means, but we had so many people coming together, bringing us meals, making us food, sending us gifts, bringing gifts, bringing food, flowers, like sending us flowers. Like crazy. I've had so many friends just really, really step in and do incredible things, which is just mind-blowing and just being so selfless and just dropping everything to come help and it's crazy because you always are like willing to tell somebody like hey let me know if you need anything but the amount of people that just took initiative that we weren't even expecting and just came in and did stuff for us is unbelievable and then also you guys like our whole youtube fam like we, all your words and we comments were, yeah blown away by how much support you guys gave us i mean daily we had messages from you guys How's Livia doing? What can we pray for? How can we help? You know, just all these different kinds of things. And it was astounding. And we are so, so grateful. And it's made us really reflect on ourselves and the kind of people that we want to be. We want to be those people who, when somebody else is going through something hard, we want to be the people who are there and just give them that love and support in any way possible. And it's really made us realize just going through all this what's really really important in this life and it's just relationships and loving everybody and loving other people and being there for them so we've just really been on the receiving end of that and so we are just like oh my gosh if we ever know anyone is having a hard time like we want to be like those people that were there for us it's been like a cool cool experience to receive that and now we kind of know for the future how we can help other people because yeah. we know what we really, really appreciated. I feel like we've grown and learned so much from this and our priorities in life are totally shifted. It's just been a really, really cool experience even though it was super, super hard. We are just so excited to start ramping up the videos now that I'm feeling better and... Closer to full health. Also, I wanted to show you my little scar update since this is an update video. Do we see that? Check it out, guys. It's healing it's up. It's healing! Healing up pretty good. We just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for all of the next videos, guys, because like we said, we're going to start ramping things up and getting back to some more fun videos and different things like that. So let us know what you want to see below. We yes. love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Until next time, peace. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna.